Hello and welcome to another edition of Zog Science. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to uh, interpret a periodic table and also calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So if we look here, um, we've got our various, um, uh, well basically our periodic table. Um, up in the top corner we're going to have the atomic number and that's going to be in different places on different periodic tables. Um, so it just sort of depends on what you're looking at. Um, in the middle, we've got the symbol and the name. In this case, we're looking at krypton. And then at the bottom, we've got the atomic weight. Now, an interesting thing about the atomic weight is that this is not necessarily the weight of all the different uh, types of the uh, atoms for this element. Um, that's actually an average atomic weight. Um, and so you notice that it's got a decimal here. But generally, when we want to use this, we're going to round that off to um, something close, or it's going to be given to you so you can uh, determine uh, the information that you need to know. So if we look up here, the atomic number, right? our atomic number is going to be equal to the number of protons and number of electrons. All right, and that's because the uh, periodic table is organized by how many protons each uh, atom has. So, um, for example, krypton has 36, or hydrogen has 1, helium has 2, so on and so forth. Um, so that's how we determine how many uh, protons that each atom has, or, or where they go on the periodic table, is by the number of protons, the way you look at it. Um, also, uh, we can figure out that this is the number of electrons um, in a neutral atom. All right? So this is in a neutral atom where you have no charge. Um, and, and the reason why is because if we have an atomic number of 36, that means we have 36 protons, which means we have a positive charge of plus 36. So we've got that positive charge of plus 36. We need a negative charge of minus 36 in order for that to equal zero and for our atom to be overall neutral. Uh, so that's the reason why the atomic number is going to be the number of protons and the number of electrons. Um, we also have down here, we have the atomic weight, also sometimes called the atomic mass. And our atomic mass is going to be equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. All right, and the reason why we're going to say that it's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons is because protons and neutrons each have a mass of one, or very close to one, uh, we, so we round it off, um, and electrons have a mass of what is essentially zero. It's a very, very small number. Um, so we don't worry, worry about the electrons, and we only consider the protons and the neutrons uh, when we're talking about the atomic mass. So if we take a look at krypton, okay, the atomic weight here is 83, so let's round it off to 84 and say that we're looking at krypton 84. And so what we're going to see is that 84 is equal to our atomic number, which is 36, plus the number of neutrons. All right, so we've set up our equation. Now we just have to solve for that. So it's going to be 84 minus 36. So 6 off that is 78. So that's going to be 48 is equal to the number of neutrons. And that's how you calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons and interpret a periodic table. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.